G'day legends, just uh, checking in for a quick race week update. So this week is, uh, well this weekend Saturday is supposed to have been our first race for the season, the um, Rainbow Beach Trail Festival Marathon, 42.2 kilometers in um, the Rainbow Beach area on some sand, some beautiful countryside. Unfortunately, uh, COVID has reared its ugly head and uh, we've been placed in a lockdown and the event has been cancelled, which is a real bummer. We're really looking forward to it. Anyway, we uh, this, the current restrictions allow us to exercise within 10 kilometers of our home. And fortunately, we have access to some awesome trails, which we usually um, we usually train on anyway on, um, on weekends. Uh, they're within our 10 kilometer bubble, which is awesome. Uh, so all being well this Saturday morning, uh, according to race schedule, uh, we'll be out there starting at 6.30 doing our marathon solo on our own. Um, and when I say on our own, I mean Courtney and I are going to run our own races. We're not going to be together at all. So fair chance that for the entirety of uh, the, the run, we're going to be completely alone. So anyway, put together a quick route here, um, to try and map out what we need to do. So we're going to do 42.2 Ks and we're looking at elevation gain of somewhere in the 830 meters mark, uh, which is fairly significant. Um, I'm going to start at the car park here and we're going to run, um, four, loops uh, more or less of the Parklands Conservation Park. So we'll start off heading south, we'll come up Radar Hill here, down the other side, around the back, up Mongrel Hill, uh, and then around the reverse way around Parklands, uh, Park Run rather, and then up through this extra little loop on the top here, back to the car where we're going to treat the car as kind of a, a drop bag checkpoint area. Uh, at this point, we're going to turn around and head back, but we're going to bypass this little knob on the top here and take a, a shorter route for the, the second reverse lap and then hit the car again. Uh, at this point, we'll be about 20.5 Ks in uh, and we'll head back out this way, just cross through the half marathon going up the hill, fly back around and we will do the extended little bit again on this, this trip uh, and head back, hit the car one last time and then the shorter, just under 10K loop to finish off. And unfortunately, we won't quite finish at the car, I don't think, so we'll have to go a little bit further on. But anyway, uh, that's the plan. At this point, it looks like it's going to be achievable. Um, it's within the rules and regulations of what we're allowed to do in this lockdown. So fingers crossed, nothing changes in the next couple of days and we'll get out there and get through it. Looking forward to it. I'll, um, I'll check in. Uh, before and afterwards and uh, yeah give you all an update as to how it went peace alrighty we're here uh, out at Parklands Conservation Park about to do our not rainbow beach trail marathon I'm just getting geared up four laps around this beautiful area this morning 42.2 kilometers be fun. See you at the end. Hey, so a quick recap of um, the Not Rainbow Beach Marathon that I did yesterday. Finished it in five hours, 15 minutes, uh, which was my B goal. Um, a goal was to go under five hours. Didn't quite get that, but that's okay. Um, found it really tough doing a looped course. Um, the fourth lap in particular uh, was particularly hard. Dropped pace quite a bit on that and had some real uh, mental battles, uh, but that's okay, got through it. Uh, I think I nailed the nutrition, nailed the hydration, um, no gut issues, no cramping issues, had plenty of energy. Um, shoes were a bit of a challenge. I um, recently changed to a new version of um, what I had been wearing and they're just rubbing in some weird ways. I've got a real big bruise on my ankle, so back to the drawing board with that, try and find something else that works. And um, yeah, all in all, it was a good a good training experience. Good to do it at um, pace too, which was uh, beneficial, I think. Um, haven't done anything that long at that pace for a very, very long time. 
So anyway, it's um, now Sunday afternoon, just chilling out here in the hammock, enjoying myself. Court's over here stretching and um, my coach is calling. Hey, Kev.